Hey everyone, I'm Phil Reed. I'm the Senior Consumer Advice Editor for Edmunds.com and today we're going to talk about the self-parking feature on the 2014 BMW i3 electric car. A couple of people wrote in and said that they would love to see a video of this, so we're going to give you a demonstration of it. We're going to try several different scenarios and we're also going to explore some of its limitations. Okay, so we're looking for a parking space now, so you begin the process by pressing the button down here which is the parking assist. Once you're in drive, it will give you a message on the screen showing that it's active, and it begins searching for a place to park. See it's found one, it gives you a P, and then you follow the instructions. So you have to turn on the turn signal, and then you take your hands off the steering wheel, your feet off the pedals, hold this down the entire time, and now the computer in the car is in control. One of the things that's kind of scary about this is I see a lot of traffic coming up, and it swings the nose out, but, you know, the car doesn't see them coming. Uh, luckily, this is a wide enough street, so it's not a problem. Also, this, the system will tell you that it sometimes hits the curbs. But as you can see, it's doing everything. I'm not touching the pedals or the brake. And it's centering itself in, in the spot. This is interesting because it put it back in park, so we're stationary, the, the parking is done. But you can see this, this is not a great job of centering yourself. The parking meter is right there. We're not really in the space, so the human being needs to take over now and, and sort of finish the job. Okay, we're going to see how good this is at parallel parking. We've uh, chosen a really small space here. I think I read in the manual that you need a total of four feet, so that'd be two on each end. We're gonna see, first of all, whether it finds the space, and then secondly, how it does getting it in here. Okay, so it says we've got the spot. It also says in the manual that it occasionally will hit the curb, and I just felt the, the tire hit the curb, but we are in the space. And I didn't have to do anything but hold the button down and it's got it nicely centered and it looks, in the mirror I can see that it's a good distance from the curb. So, not a bad job. The system also works finding spots and parking on the left side of the street for one-way streets, so we're gonna demonstrate that feature here. The main thing to know is that for people that hate parallel parking or maybe don't even attempt it, this could be a really valuable tool for you, particularly if you're living in the city with very congested conditions. Self-parking BMW 2014 i3.